My name is Marianne Moncton and I'm a gymnast. I'm Chiara and I do artistic gymnastics. I'm Emma Nedov and I do gymnastics. Gymnasts are small, um, flexible, strong um, and um, you know got a good height to weight ratio. We have athletes that, that are coming into the program at sort of around the age of five. You're looking at really a 10 to 15 year development pathway for an athlete to reach their peak and be ready for their Olympic cycle. When I was little it was just being able to do something that not very many people can do. Um, as I've grown older I've learnt that it's just more about the lessons that it teaches you for sport and life. Mary Ann, probably she's her own worst enemy at times. She um, expects a lot of herself. She's a real perfectionist and probably of any of our athletes here, she knows what it's like to come back from serious injuries. I had two ankle reconstructions because of the um, ligaments and then last year I had a um, perineal tendon transfer because the tendon was actually ruptured. A lot of people, they watch competition and go, oh, that's amazing, like, it's, but it's only one minute 30 and a lot of work goes into that 90 second routine. Like a lot of people thought it was cool to flip around with a boot on your leg so it's good. <laughs> so I do every apparatus, the vault bars, beam and floor. Um, I do love doing bars and floor though, they're probably my favourites um, out of all the events. Kiara, she's a very hard worker. She was involved with gymnastics from a young age. She came to our international stream um, a little bit later than the other two girls but she's really hit the ground running and uh, worked really hard and, and has achieved some fantastic results. She was part of the world championship team um, last year and that was her first world. So that was a major accomplishment for me and I trained really hard to get there so I was ecstatic to be able to go. It was one of the best experiences of my life and for my career as well. I'm the best at beam, uh, that's my apparatus and I love how, uh, look the tricks that we do, everything like that, it's so incredible and it's amazing to be able to do these sorts of things with your body. Emma again is a strong competitor on the balance beam as well, but at the same time she's also training for the Rio um, cycle on four apparatus. The vault, the uneven bars, the balance beam and the floor. We train about 32 hours a week, so it's pretty intense. I guess friends at school, I don't really go to school as much because I train, but I do have a good friendship with my friends, but I guess my gym friends are kind of more like my family, like my sisters. Once you're in the team, like a Commonwealth Games team or World Team or Olympic team, um, you're all competing together. It's, it's not against each other anymore because team comes first always with us. If we don't do well in team competition, then no one goes to the next event. If the other person makes it, good for them. If we make it, then hopefully they'll say good for me. I think we've got a fantastic group of girls here. They're all really supportive of each other, but at the same time, they're very driven individually as to what their goals and expectations of themselves are. They're a team, but they're also here to achieve some results for themselves individually and also for Australia. Last year at Worlds, we ranked seven which was pretty good. I don't think many people expected us to get that place, but we did. So that was a great achievement for Australia. So we made Worlds this year, so we're hoping to place top eight to go straight through to the Olympics. Like other sports, you have the big powerhouses. So like in gym, it's um, Russia, USA, China. And then you've got Romania, Japan, Great Britain and Italy. They're usually in, um, that make up the top eight along with us. We have a different culture, obviously, in Australia to, to those other countries. A lot of those countries, the athletes are professional athletes. Uh, they get paid to do the sport, whereas our athletes um, are juggling you know, their life as well as uh, their, their sport. Hopefully with our clean routines we can hit them, maybe get a few chanka double twists which will help us secure a spot into the Olympics. All three girls will be um, vying for a spot on that world championship team. Then the goals after that will be to qualify Australia to send a team to the Rio Olympics. We won't really have much downtime over um, December, like the Christmas break sort of things like that. We've just got to start preparing really. I was the Olympic reserve in 2012 for London. So that was a really challenging experience to say the least. I was quite young and I'd been through a lot prior to that and really thought that um, I would have been on that team but I just came up a little bit short so this time I'm just putting it all out there and just doing anything that I can to um, make that dream become a reality. It's the biggest kind of competition you can go to for gymnastics. It's I don't know, it's like the place you just want to go. And I just want to like experience the village situation and the atmosphere. I think it would just be amazing. And to do it with my teammates would be even better.